Hey campers and travelers, Derek Hatesy here of Mark Wahlberg Airstream and RV, uh, giving a quick video tour of one of the most exciting new Airstreams you've had in a while, and that's the brand new 25 foot front bed Trade Winds Airstream. Definitely a big focus on boondocking, dry camping, huge solar, huge battery, big inverter, whole trailers inverted, a lot of unique new features along with decor. Uh, and also everybody's favorite thing to hatch too. So let's do a tour of a 2024 25 foot front bed Airstream trade winds. Hey everybody, Derek here again, Mark Wahlberg, Airstream and RV, Columbus, Ohio, with a quick walkthrough of our 2024 Airstream trade winds. This trailer is a 25 FB, so front bedroom. This particular model is also the queen bed in the terracotta interior. Little shot of the Suburban and uh, hot water maker there, and a nice look at the tires and wheels on this. Trade Winds is unique in that it's the first trailer from Airstreams with the factory lift kit on the Dexter axles. The custom wheels, the Wrangler tires, really gives it a unique look, unlike any other Airstream right now. Also, love. I would describe as the gray belt line on this where they've replaced what's normally a faux chrome belt line. Very stylish. The hatch isn't unique to the trade winds, but it's definitely been an option that's been very popular in the past. But now being the third trailer we can order with the hatch, the other being a flying cloud or international at 25 or 27. This 25 foot trade winds really takes advantage of that patch and the screen in the back, obviously setting up perfectly for a beautiful boondocking spot. And what makes that boondocking even easier is the large capacities that we have on this trailer that's really unique to this Airstream alone. This trailer has what Airstream describes as a massive internal battery bank. So that's three chassis integrated so that's beneath the floor kind of in between the axles 270 amp hour heated lithium battle borne batteries so the three of those batteries inform 810 amp hour battery bank so that's going to provide you about four times greater capacity over any other airstream travel trailer they they build currently but the big battery bank is really just a part of the whole system the other large components could be up on the roof, and that's the 600 watts of roof-mounted solar panels. It's nearly double the energy harvesting capacity of any other Airstream currently available. It has a great interior monitor by Victron that has an app that we can connect to with our smartphones or other Bluetooth-capable devices so that we can monitor over our current energy state and use. The third part of this whole off-the-grid package, and maybe one of the most important part, is the large inverter. It's the most powerful inverter Airstream's offered in a travel trailer. It's 300 watts, so that's 100 watts above any other Airstream model. And that's going to be able to simultaneously run the microwave and the 15,000 BTU air conditioner that does have a soft start from Airstream. That soft start is also going to be nice too because if we're boondocking and plugged into say a 20 amp outlet at somebody's house or garage, we're still going to be able to fire up that air conditioner. Of course, part of boondocking is conserving water. And you have a recirculating water heater that prevents wasted cold water from going down the drain while it heats. And it's worth reiterating about that large inverter and now the whole trailer is connected through that inverter on most airstreams that now have a 2000 watt inverter only select outlets are wired to that inverter here in the trade wind the entire trailer is fully inverted the whole si electrical system is so taking advantage of that large battery bank and the solar are really easier than ever and we're not nearly as limited to what we can use and how long we can use it. Now I know you're dying to ask me, Derek, how long can this trailer run on the batteries? 
And while I don't have an exact answer for you, I can tell you that Airstream is reporting that most customers are getting six to eight hours of runtime if we got the air conditioner running. Uh, so that's pretty good runtime. If, if it's hotter out, you're probably going to be closer to that six hours. If it's more temperate, you're probably closer to that eight. But I mean, imagine if you're boondocking somewhere and didn't need your air conditioner, pretty much the rest of the systems here uh, are going to be easily maintained for a long weekend on uh, just the 12 volt systems alone. So definitely awesome performance. It's going to be great for a lot of customers.